So how do we make this transformation happen? We can begin by practicing design thinking, like they do at the Innovation Labs at IDEO and the D School at Stanford. As David Queck defines it, design thinking is an iterative process that facilitates problem identification and solution generation. It is an approach to learning that is product-focused, uses empathy to identify problems, promotes a bias towards action, encourages ideation, and fosters active problem solving. Ott and White, in their article, Design Thinking in the Classroom, describe this in five actions, which include gathering information, or finding out what we need to know, gleaning or synthesizing the data to figure out what our focus should be, generating ideas for the best possible solution, gauging which of these ideas is the most feasible, desirable, and viable, and finally making the work happen and assessing its impact. To gather information, I recommend we survey all the important stakeholders, such as students, teachers, administrators, and parents, about their needs for the new learning commons. Once this data is gathered, we can use planning rubrics to help us synthesize the information in order to find our focus. We should also observe learners in the environment to see how they're using the space or not using it. This observational data can help us determine behavior patterns that will shed light on the survey data we gather. Once this data is gathered and synthesized, we need to bring together all the stakeholders to brainstorm how to move forward. There will be plenty to do, so it's important we prioritize what we fix first. Should we make the physical learning comments more flexible with different furniture? or create a cadre of students to serve on a mouse squad to help us with our technology needs. Maybe we should try to have everyone create and post their online class calendars on the virtual learning commons. Or create a maker space in the learning commons where students can create authentic and creative products. The point is that these decisions no longer become the responsibility of one person, an administrator or librarian but they are decided by the leadership team and students so we can all take ownership in this collective and, phys collective physical and virtual space. Once a decision has been reached, we can move forward with greater buy-in and excitement about these changes that will benefit us all. Thank you.